Hello guys, how's it going? In this video I want to show you how you can create your own ontology using nothing else, just an online tool called Web, called Web or Visual OWL. Now this is a tool that you can use in your browser so you don't have to download anything. And in this video we will be creating a very basic ontology about movies which has a couple of classes such as movie, actor, genre, a couple of subclasses, a object properties, and sorry, data type properties, and a couple of object properties. All right, so first thing first you want to do, go to the mode and enable the editing. Now you'll be notified that you have entered the editing mode. I just click got it. And now go to down to ontology and select create new ontology. All right, so on the right side of your screen, we can give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Movie Ontology. Um, you can select your own RRI. I'm just going to call it Movie Ontology uh, version 0 uh, 0.1. I'm going to give it its author's name. Um, here you can also add or delete existing uh, prefixes and namespaces. Now there are some of them are already built in like RDF, RDFFs, uh, OWL, etc. Um, I'm just going to remove these because we're not going to use them. And uh, we can also give it a description like for example, this is a uh, simple ontology describing uh, concepts in the domain of movie. Hopefully it makes sense. All right, so now we can start in by creating some classes. So on the left side, we have the elements that we can create. So I'm just going to click on the OWL class and I can double click anywhere on the screen and a class will be created. So our first class will be called movie. And uh, here on the right side of the screen, we can see it's our ROI and its label and its type. So if we make a mistake or we want to change its ROI or we want to change its label, we can change it all here. And uh, okay, so let's create more classes like for example, a short movie, a long movie and now I'm going to select a type of property that I want to use so I'm choosing the RDFS subclass of and I, I can just hover over one of the nodes and drag the arrow from from the node to which I want it to point to so in this case I'm I'm basically creating a subclass of for the class ontology uh, with its uh, range being, or sorry, its domain being a short movie. Uh, same thing for the long movie. So basically now I created a, a small hierarchy where the movie is a parent class and the short movie and the long movie are its uh, subclasses or its children. We can also make these two classes disjoint, disjoint with. Uh, simply by selecting the disjoint with uh, property and we are getting a warning that warning that the uh, the visualization is disabled and so what we can do we can go to the filter and uh, disable this class disjointness uh, option and we have to create the disjointness property again and now we can see that these two classes are actually disjoint so let's move on i'm going to create a couple of classes like an actor and again i'm going to create a, a couple more classes like an actress and male actor again i'm going to make these two classes being a subclass of an actor and similarly i'm going to make them a disjoint um, now i'm going to create a object property and I'm going to drag a error from the actor to a movie and name this uh, object property a 
actor or acts in and this basically property tells us that an actor acts in a movie and what is nice about this tool is that the domain and range is created automatically so for this data type property its domain is actor and its range is a movie now if you would create if i would drag an error from movie to an actor um, the opposite would be the true the domain would be a movie and the range would be an actor all right so let's create i don't know a couple more classes such as a gender or sorry genre again uh, this time i'm going to drag an error from a movie to a genre and give it a name such as a movie has a genre and uh, i don't know let's create some couple more subclasses such as a horror, a action and so on and again we can make this a subclass of a genre. Now let's create some data type properties so um, let's choose a string data type property for a movie so I'm clicking on this green plus which will create the data type property, which I can rename, and I'm going to give it a name uh, such as a movie has name. And um, I'm going to create another one. Oh, actually, uh, I can just delete the property by clicking on the X, and this one's going to be have a range and an integer, and give it a name. Oh, sorry. Give it the range uh, name has rating and um, in this case a this data type property its domain is going to be a movie and its range is going to be an integer and we can you know create these properties and the data type properties for all the classes in our ontology so actor has name and so on and so forth yes so like i said if you make a mistake and we decide to change this for example i don't like this class name i want it to be a romantic instead of a horror class i can simply change it like so and yeah the note it's ri and its label will be automatically translate uh, updated Okay, so now when once we are done, we can go down to the export and uh, export it as an SVG. And if you open it, the this is basically a graphical representation of an ontology, and we can share this uh, with our friends or co our colleagues or whatever. Or if we want to, we can also export it in a turtle like so just by clicking on the export as turtle and then we can open it in uh, any text editor so for example i'm using the sublime text and um, yeah this is how the ontology would look like in the in our sub uh, in a sub in a turtle format inside the sublime text editor so for example, these are the um, uh, default um, ontology description that we have created. It's title, it's description, version information, it's creator. And here are all the properties. So as we can see, um, everything is defined like it's, it's our, our, our RIIs are set, it's domain and range is set as well. And uh, here are the classes. We can also see that it, it, it gives them an, uh, a language label. And similarly for the uh, disjoint with uh, classes. So for example, a short movie is a disjoint with the long movie. And a male actor is disjoint with actress. All right, so this is the web visualization ontology tool and that's pretty much it so in the link in the description you will find the 
In the description below, you will find the link to the tool. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. All right, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.